Seeing is believing. My interoperative experience with the Zeiss Lumera microscope. This is a complex case. You see four RK incisions on the cornea, a displaced IOL with silicon oil droplets adhering to it. We'll do a lens exchange taking out the old lens, and our new lens will be sutured to the back of the iris. We have to suture fixate the lens using the innovative Seepser technique because this eye has inadequate capture support. You'll notice that the red reflex is excellent and I can see fine details like these little bubbles in the anterior chamber quite well. When the viscoelastic is removed, we notice that it's a really nice result. But I know you're asking yourself, gee that's great, but what about for routine cases? Well, we're in routine cases, that's where this microscope truly shines. It gives you a visualization that's unparalleled. What about seeing the caps rexus? Look at this dark, dark eye, dense cataract. But with a simple dial, I can eliminate the red reflex. This is a stereocoaxial illumination on a lumeroscope. This allows a very bright red reflex, even in the dense cataracts like these. We create a nice large round capsorexis, and I have this level of control only because I can directly see my capsule edge as I proceed. Because I'll put an accommodating lens in this eye, I want a nice large controlled capsorexis. And you can see here we can achieve it. At this point, we'll do our hydro dissection, and you'll be amazed that you can see the fluid waves as they dissect the capsule from the lens nucleus as the fluid wave progresses. Perfect. Now, just for comparison, go back to the regular setting, and you'll see how difficult it is. You can also see zonular insertion points. Sometimes we're amazed that the zonules insert more anteriorly than we'd anticipate but turn off the SCI illumination and those all but disappear. And in a case like this, we have to have a large rexus, so seeing the zonals is important. For toric lenses, I like to make alignment marks on the cornea. This is anterior stromal puncture of the cornea, and this is a technique that I learned from Byron Stratus. The red reflex allows us to very clearly see those orientation marks. There's the nice round capsorexis, and we'll proceed with our case. With the toric lens in the eye, all we have to do is line up the toric lens markings with these precisely placed antiostromal markings. For multifocal lenses, centration in the visual axis is important. Here's a case with a restore lens in the eye, and I want it centered on the visual axis. Without the red reflex, impossible to see the rings. But with the stereocoaxial illumination, the red reflex is easy. During phagic lens surgery, in a phagic IOL, I want to fill the anterior chamber very loosely with viscoelastic. And that's hard to see, but with the SCI illumination, you'll see the spaghetti-like strands of viscoelastic loosely filling the anterior chamber. Perfect. This will make evacuation of the viscoelastic easy at the end of the case. You see, without the red reflex, it's nearly impossible to see that level of detail. We'll make our incision, put the lens in the eye. At the end of the case, we want to wash out the viscoelastic. With that red reflex, we're absolutely sure that there's no more viscoelastic in the eye. So in summary, I think this Lumera is an absolutely valuable tool that will permanently change the way that I perform surgery. I think you'll find the same experience.